All right, today I'd like to talk about perspective. And perspective is how an artist makes things look more three-dimensional in space. So if we take a look at a couple of artists here, here's one. This is a painting by Edward Hopper. And with this one, you can tell that he has wanted the gas tanks to appear, this one closest to you. And as it gets a little further away, it gets a little smaller. And then as it gets further away, it gets a little smaller. The same thing he's used for this road where it is larger here and gets smaller and smaller in the distance. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that on your practice paper today. To begin with, everybody is going to start out with a two-point perspective um, example. And then from there, you're going to be able to choose to make it two-point perspective or your choice of something else. So this is just a beginner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to split my paper in half with a line. This line should not touch the top of the paper and it should also not touch the bottom of the paper. Next what I'm going to be doing is using two vanishing points. The vanishing points it's going to be probably about two inches from the bottom on this side. Two inches up from here is perfect. Then two inches from the other side also. So I'm just going to make two dots on either side of the paper. Next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, connecting so that I can see the bottom portion of my paper. So I have my two dots and I also have a little bit further away so you can see. Um, let's go ahead with my connecting here. I'm also going to connect with a line down here. All right, now what I'm going to do is, now what I have is my paper divided and I have two vanishing points, one on this side and one on this side. Now, I'd say 90% of the time, everything on this half of the paper is going to be coming back towards this vanishing point. So this vanishing point is in charge of this half of the paper 90% of the time, so most of the time. Most of the time, 90% of the time, I'd say anything on this half of the paper is needing to be controlled by this vanishing point. All right, so to begin with, when I say that it goes back to your vanishing point, you're gonna take the very, very top of your building, you're gonna line that up back to your vanishing point. I'm gonna take my other side, do the exact same thing, I'm gonna line this up and take it back to my vanishing point. So my ruler was touching the vanishing point on both of those, so now I'm gonna just take these and I can make my line um, vertical. The vertical lines are not to the vanishing point. Those do need to be straight up down vertical. Now what I have is my very first building. So let's go ahead and I can start making a shorter building. So this one, once again I'm lining my ruler up to the vanishing point and then I'm taking this straight down for vertical. If I wanted to make one that is slightly taller, I can go ahead and extend this up just a little bit, take it back to my vanishing point once again, and then once again straight down. So after I have that done, now what I'm going to do is this building is unfinished. This is that 10% um, of the time, so I'm going to take this back to my opposite vanishing point. All right, so that from there you continue and some of your other um, projects and things that you're going to be able to do from there, you're going to be able to add lots and lots of detail. So here is one that has lots of detail and noticing that all of my sidewalk lines go back to my vanishing point, so you're going to line those up, um, billboards, windows, um, even the sign.